There we go. Nice fish. Real nice fish. What's up YouTube, Mr. PA Fishing here. The date is April 27th. I have a little post work special for you today. I had a little extra energy after work, so we're about to go catch ourselves some fish. I'm gonna head to some backwoods spots, fish some deeper pools, and hopefully catch ourselves some big fish. Hope you guys all like this content. If at any point in time you do, scroll down below, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment down there, let me know what you did or did not like about this video. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Easter PA Fishing YouTube channel, you should probably do that now. Easter PA Fishing here, you know what it is by now. Let's get right to the fishing. And we made it. We broke 70 degrees today. It's a little hot out there mowing, but I'm glad that I have the time to come out here and fish today. I have a little walk to some of the fishing holes. As you guys can see, I am walking through straight seven minute itch, stinging nettle, whatever you want to call it. I am super excited to be out here. Man, I can't tell you guys how beautiful a day it is. I hope everybody is out enjoying this day, even though this video is gonna be posted a few days after this. Over the next few days, the weather should be absolutely amazing. And I hope everybody can get out there and catch themselves some fish. I think this is gonna be the first deep hole that we check. We have a little three inch Berkeley trout worm tied on. Should be able to catch something from this hole. Oh, something had it. Jeez Louise, first cast, all right. Definitely gonna catch some fish. Not sure if that was a trout, probably not. You guys can probably hear all the birds out here. Pretty far back in the woods. Nature back here is pretty sweet. It's gonna get dark soon. Perfect time to catch a big trout. There we go. We got something on here. Ah, man. Panfish, red breast. Whoa, take it easy, man. First fish of the day here on the Eastern PA Fishing YouTube channel. We treat every fish with love and care. Let's get him back. See ya, dude. Well, not a trout, not a bass. We don't discriminate here. We'll take all fish. Now, don't get me wrong when I say that, this isn't gonna turn into an extreme Philly fishing channel where I eventually start going out and trying to catch minnows. Now, trying to hit on the guy, I just don't really find that entertaining. Anyway, let's continue fishing. The honey hole, brown trout colored rooster tail, one eighth of an ounce. There we go. Nice fish. Real nice. Oh man, that's a nice trout. Man, he smoked it right at the shore. Stay on. Here we go. Nice brown. Dang, that is a huge brown. This actually might be bigger than the brown I caught earlier in the year. Holy smokes. Stay on. That's a big brownie. <sighs> Look at that dude. Does not want to be caught. There we go guys. Just gonna get him in the light so you can see another beautiful brown. That is a big one. Oh man, let's get him back. Let's get this beautiful fish back. There he goes to live another day. Now that is definitely the type of fish that could hold over in these creeks. Those big brown trout, those things are hardy. You know, people are like, oh man, those little brown trout are so sensitive. Browns like that can survive in pretty much anything, especially if they're surviving in the Wissahickon, considering this thing is like, what, 50% treated sewage? Anyway, let's see if we can catch some more. First trout of the day. Man, that was a nice brown. Oh, there we go. There's another trout number two for the day. He seems good too. Man, these fish fight like animals in this current. Dang, that looks like a nice bow. Man, we came to the spot of the giants. It is a nice bow. Dang. 
Look at that. Oh, almost lost my balance. Dang, that is a nice big bow. There we go. Another beautiful trout. Second nice one of the day. Let's get him back. He was ready. Dang, man. What the heck's going on here? It's definitely paying off coming out. Some good action. Let's see if we can catch another one. I'm telling you these little brown trout rooster tails are where it's at. It's definitely my favorite color rooster tail. And one eighth of an ounce is my favorite size. That's what I'm using 90% of the time. Man, I tell you guys, there is nothing like hooking into a nice fish. No feeling like that in the world. Let's catch some more trout. Alrighty, well, start heading back. Spinner's the deal today. Try this spot. Nope, nothing here. Let's try here. Nope. How about here? Nope. Maybe this spot. Maybe not. Back to this spot. Nothing here either. Let's try this hole again. Nothing here either. I have one more real nice spot that I want to check out before it gets dark. I think I have time to make it there. I'm probably going to stop and fish here and there. So by the time I get there, maybe it will be dark. But who knows? We're going to fish it anyway. What a good day of fishing so far. Whew. Another secret spot. Oh, we got something on. It's a trout. It's like a rainbow. Ain't bad. Dang. Another nice bow, man. Catching them all today. This is like the chillest rainbow trout I've ever caught. He's just letting me handle him. He knows what's up. Maybe he's been caught before. There we go. Another beauty. Ooh, feisty. Man, we are getting some good action today. See if we can catch some more. Holy smokes. Oh, <laughs> well. Oh, quick release it was a big fat red breast sunfish. Reverse cast, say goodbye to my fishing line. There we go. That's another trout. What do we got here? Rainbow or brown? Ain't bad. Ooh, another nice bow. Man, feisty little bows. Man, he hopped up on shore. Number four for the day. Man, these bows are feisty back here. Whew. Just gotta, gotta take a little breather here for a second and just contemplate everything that just happened. You know, I almost didn't even come fishing today. What the heck is going on? Probably one of the best days of fishing I've had so far this year. Well, this was the last spot that I wanted to hit today. Seems like we're gonna have some more time to fish. Sun isn't going down yet. Let's see if we can catch another one. There we go. What do we got here? Sunny. Big one though. Big red breast. Oh, well, there he goes. There we go. There's another number five, man. This guy is flipping around like a man. Man, these were all fat fish today. There's another one. Real beautiful bow as well. Good colors. Some of the ones I caught this year were a little beat up. There he goes. He's taking off.
Oh, another one. This is ridiculous, guys. Dang. This is some crazy action. And look at them go. Now that's probably the smallest one of the day. And that is still a real nice bow. That big brown that we caught was definitely the prize of the day, but we'll take these bows anytime. We are back in the middle of nowhere. Walking to the next deep pool that I know of. Hopefully we can make it there in good time. Sun is starting to go down quick. Well, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have to at some point empty out my old lucky waders. Now, some people keep on ragging on me because I still wear these things. But listen, I do not care getting wet at all. I don't want to get my nads wet, don't get me wrong. But the main thing I care about is keeping the ticks and the poison ivy off me. Other than that, I honestly could care less. And actually, this water feels great today. Good to go. Look at this big deep hole. I think there's some fish in here. Bet there probably is. Good day for bugs to spawn. Soon it's gonna be Mosquito City. Another thing I have to say I'm very thankful for is that the bugs aren't too bad yet. One of the reasons why I love fishing in the spring so much. Oh, we got something on here. What the heck? It is a trout. There were trout here. Look at this little guy. This is definitely the smallest one of the day. Why'd they even stock this little dude? Couldn't even eat this thing. Look at that. That is a gorgeous bow. One of the first ones you guys get to see in the light today. There we go. There's another one. This is actually number seven. I'm not sure if I got Oh, well, there he goes. Anyway, that is number seven, seven trout of the day. I'm not too sure the sixth one was on film, but either way, what a freaking day of fishing so far. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Another bow. You guys got to be kidding me. Ooh. That is a pretty one. Look at the color on that gill plate. That is a real pretty rainbow trout. This is a little male. You can see because he's got that little kite lip. Hook popped right out, as you guys saw. Let's get him back to where he came from. Number eight. Jeez Louise. I almost feel like I should stop fishing. Some of these holes are gonna get beat out by the time I'm done with them. We are catching all the fish today. What a fire day of fishing. Oh man, he was on there. Dang it. Oh, shh. close call. My bad. You got it. You guard those eggs. I don't want nothing to do with you, you nasty water chicken. Well, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I had myself a great time down at the creek and caught myself a ton of trout. Eight or nine trout, however many it was, a couple sunfish here and there. That is a great haul for any day of the year. So I've been hearing a lot of people say that the creeks weren't stocked too well or, you know, they aren't having too much luck out there. But trust me, those fish are out there. You just have to know where to look for them. Use the right technique and you'll catch them. I hope you guys all like this episode. If at any point in time you did, please scroll down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you did or did not like about this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Easter PA Fishing YouTube channel, what the heck are you waiting for? Do that now. Easter PA Fishing here. You know what it is by now. Till next time, guys. Stay safe. Stay tuned and stay fishy.